guys Quinn the small ferro rod here um, for this project put putting this uh, stove jack in the jack I use is from uh, Bear Paw Wilderness Designs out of uh, Colorado Fort Collins Colorado they have a video on how to do it but they just have a piece of cloth and with a machine and so it's not really the way you do it but look at it anyways but anyways when you when you take the stove jack and you put it against the wall you go on the inside and you have the flap facing the outside and then you start sewing and use a pointed needle sail needle 14 number 12 or whatever um, I'm using Kevlar thread you don't have to use that because um, I have a lot of it um, and what we did is we I did a double thread push it out my son pushed it in it just goes a lot quicker with two people and um, that's the best way to do it now I've done it on, a t on another tent where I made my own stove jack on a table and tent was not up and I did it, it came out all right but it's a lot harder but this is better you just take the package you came in take you put that against the with the flat facing outside and then just sew it in so and uh that's all there is to it and then and then you'll see in the video how i i cut it and i used a baco knife or you can use a moral knife it has to be really sharp to trim that canvas but remember use a pointed needle very sharp pointed needle because you won't be able to go through the uh the silicone and the canvas so just remember that but basically it's not too bad two people working together in out in out all the way around it works pretty good so just want to throw that in here um for some reason it didn't get filmed so we're uh so we're done. it's new year's day i'm uploading this now so happy new year we're putting the uh what they call the mullet the round stove had this for over 10 years works great um Putting this in a small A tent or wedge tent. If I'm by myself, I could put a cot here for sleeping. One of the places you may go, the person will sleep here and toward the front. So I'm going to go across this way. So then we'll have this open in the middle. So now what I have to do, what my goal is today, is put a stove jack in here. Not out the back, but here. So we have the wood here. Stove is, we've used this stove an awful lot. So um, it's, uh, I'm at my son's house. We can keep a fire going all night, depending on the wood that we have. You get up, you go to the bathroom, put some wood on. But uh, we've done this before. So I made some mods on it, but uh, it's a great Northern, I believe. Uh, wood stove got a sportsman's guide many years ago have used it for years um but yeah we're gonna put it in this location this way if this area is clear to sleep or to hang out over here someone will sleep this way and someone will sleep this way we'll use some wool on the outside like a bivy and uh yeah we can hang things on here but basically the goal today is i gotta i gotta sit on the stove jack I know it's made in USA, but uh, they show you, oh, you use a sewing machine. No, we're not using a sewing machine. I got to do this by hand. I'm going to use Kevlar thread. So I just want to give you an idea of what I'm doing here when I'm prepping. Uh, we might go to an easy access Appalachian Trail area. Bring this in on a poke or sled. It's probably going at the bog and I have another sliver to pull and everything else will go in there. But uh, just have a warm place to go. So, you know, do we have equipment to go in whatever the weather is? Yes, we do. But it's nice to have a nice warm place to go. Cook on there, do whatever we want. Come in here, hang out. So, let's see what's going on here. There, huh? Should be good. Yeah. We're gonna continue with uh, more stuff here. This is my opinel. This stuff sometimes is hard to cut. 
I don't know. I wonder. This is the one I sharpened on a rock. Or should we just go with the good one? Then? Go with the good one. Yeah, let's go with the good one. Yeah. Let's make a new one. Yeah. The, uh, that's what we'll do. <coughs> Excuse me. Double Kevlar here. Oh crap. Okay, this is the good one. The old one was still on there. I'll get that off. Keep it down and we can make sure you don't forget it. Oh, barefoot in the yard. That's what it looks like out here, right here comes down right there it's kind of like a little extra on this stuff here so I'm gonna have to cut some of this away There's some velcro here for the rain fly but uh, so I'll, I'll do that pretty cold but we got it sewed I have a Mora knife and my little Oppenel's not going to cut through this good. I get the Mora knife out of my car truck and see what happens. Okay, ooh, I don't want to be careful on that. Okay, so you see how the flap is here now. And this one is up. I might have to trim that enough so it sticks on here with our thing there. Let's see what we can do here. This is a actually a mora, but it's a uh, baco. And it just, I'm going slow here. I mean, this cuts right through. Perfect. Where's my uh, Apanel? Even though it's sharp, it wasn't working good for this. I'm gonna keep this in the truck. It's good for food too. This is cutting nice. We'll see how we'll, we'll fine tune it after, but uh, pretty darn cold out here. The breeze kicking up. on that's fine you have to see exactly where we want to put this through and find out hopefully maybe an elbow coming out this way let's try one way or straight up like this but uh pretty good man touch this up a little bit over here oh yeah that's kind of sound pretty good huh because it overlaps a bit there could trim a little more but uh again that stove when this is on that stove pipe would be away but it sticks on there pretty good you know because so, i'm going to put a hole in here but i'm going to take this off now Now I just have to cut the hole for the stone pipe, which is right here. Either come up or come out this way. This is just a, a rain fly, rain cover. Uh, that's the rain cover. That's that. This touches, that's fine. Cut the hole here. It'll be good. 
So I might take a break from lunch right now. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, so we got this going through here. It's just some stuff in here there. But uh, we'd have the stove down there, a little shields going around, pipe coming up. It's in nice and tight. The Kevlar, good enough, man. I think we'll be okay. So there's no damper on this, uh, but we have uh, air controls in the front. But we should be able to put any stove in here because it because it goes uh, straight up. But this is the one we have right now. It's the one uh, we're gonna use. So we should be able to sleep one person with a cot and people over here, or two people. One going across that way, one going that way. Uh, I suppose you can uh, put the cot and put another person if you had to, but uh, mission accomplished in this cold day. But uh, now I need more snow. But yeah, I'm pretty good there, man. So, I think we're okay. We're good, man. So let's clean the Eskimo. Be all right like that, right? Looks like it. Take some pictures, too. Is this your phone or my phone? This is my phone. 